Lord God, I pray for your protection to be upon everyone that is going to watch this video. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone that is going to see this. Lord God, I pray for your protection to be upon me, upon my children, upon my family, upon everyone that is in the path of Hurricane Harvey, oh God. Lord God, I pray for your angels to build a wall of protection round about us that no evil will be able to befall us, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Last night around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, um, something woke me up and I felt like my head kept being pushed towards a mirror that I have hanging on my wall. And this mirror reflects a big clock that I have on my wall. So this happened three times. Um, my head would keep being pushed towards the mirror. And when I tried to move my head to any other part of the room, I couldn't. And when it would move my head towards this mirror and I would stare at this clock on, that was being reflected through the mirror, I would hear a voice say, there's no more time. This happened to me three times. It kept, you know, forcing my head towards the mirror and saying, there's no more time. There's no more time. There's no more time. Jesus is coming back. Very, very soon, Jesus will be here to rapture the church, to take his bride to heaven. Um, after this happened, I saw a woman or like a, a young girl that was wearing a white dress and she was being lifted out of my room. And I saw her out of the corner of my room going up and I would see her dress disappear into my ceiling. And while all this was going on, I was feeling the presence of God. So I knew what I was experiencing was supernatural. And um, after I kept seeing, um, you know, this, this young lady or, or young girl being lifted out of my room, I saw a big blue beam of light in the corner of my room. And it was just, it, it started kind of small and it grew really, really big. And it just filled up the corner of my room with this blue beam. And um, it had like streaks coming out of it. And um, when I came out of this vision, I was, um, I was still in my room, so I fell asleep. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning to pray. And when I woke up, I was sitting up in my bed and all of a sudden God took my spirit out of my room and I was across the street at my neighbor's house. And I was looking over at my house from my neighbor's house. But it's kind of weird to explain because I was still Physically, I was on my bed, but spiritually, I was seeing my house while across the street. And when I saw my house, God showed me a golden beam that surrounded my entire house. And it was shining bright, but it was transparent. So I could still see my house inside of this, of this golden beam. But my house was surrounded with the protection of God like a canopy and it was so amazing I was so grateful and just so you know happy that God would protect my house in this in this way especially with this disaster that is happening in my city there are a lot of of neighborhoods around me that are flooded out there are a lot of people's cars that are flooded out people's homes that are flooded out but I'm going to show you guys what is going on outside of my house this is the outside of my house guys outside of my house is not flooded and it's barely even raining and it's been like this throughout the whole hurricane God has been protecting me. God has been protecting my children. God has been protecting us so, so, so much, guys. And it finally dawned on me 
the reason why God sent that angel to my house to mark me because of all the plagues that are going to start happening one after the other. God has put his seal right here on my forehead and on the forehead of my children so that no evil will befall us. Um, on Friday, when this hurricane hit my city, I went to church to pray in the middle of the night. When I got out of church 12 a.m. to drive home, the rain stopped. All the way till I got home, not a drop of water fell on my car. When I got home and I parked and I went into the house, the rain started. On Saturday, when I went to the store, I went to about seven stores because I had to find um, a shirt for my baptism. And all the stores that I went to, I didn't have to run in and out because of the rain. The rain stopped for me to go shopping and get all the things that I needed for my baptism and come home. When I got in the house, maybe 15 10 minutes later, it started pouring down rain. Yesterday, when I went to check the mailbox, the rain stopped. And it did not rain until I got in the house, guys. The angels of God are real. And they have really gone out to mark the children of God for protection, guys. I believe that God will protect me and my family through this storm. And no evil will befall us. Please, whoever is praying for the people in Har Hurricane Harvey's path, I thank you. May God bless you. May God bless your families and continue to protect us in Jesus' name. Amen.